Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing for phosphates in a saltwater reef tank. Why test for phosphates? Well, basically phosphates enter your aquarium through your fish and vertebrate waste and uh, decaying organic matter such as uh, dead algae or uneaten food. Um, or um, also if you use tap water to make your, your um, to basically top off your system you know the um, water companies use uh phosphates to prevent pipe corrosion and reduce heavy metals in the drinking water so this causes um a uh, high phosphate level in um in your saltwater reef or tank um, excess phosphates may uh, lead to like large algae blooms such as hair algae and other types of algaes that um, may develop in your in your tank you know so a way to basically reduce um, the uh, phosphates is to perform like a water uh, a quick water change um, you can do it by doing either 150% water change or you can do five ten percent water changes for five days in a row and that'll go ahead and remove all the excess phosphate from your um, from your system um, you don't want to use um, tap water. You got to make sure you use RODI water. You know that it's filtered so that way you can remove all of this. Worst case scenario, you can get one of those API um, phosphorbs filters and you can place it in your system and that should take care of the small excess amount. So right now we'll go ahead and get into the testing so you guys can get a feel and understanding of how the testing of phosphates work and uh, we'll, we'll see where my phosphates are at today uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to have some kind of container to go to your tank to get some fresh salt water from your system and you want to have a clean syringe oh, mine's is plastic from Walgreens um, to uh, actually put the uh, water into the uh, beaker here this is a uh, five millimeter well, this is actually nine millimeters, but we fill it up to a five millimeter line, um, like so. And basically, what we want to do now is take the two bottles. Um, you could shake them just to make sure all the items haven't settled. In this uh, test kit, we only need six drops, so we're gonna put six drops of the first one. And once that is uh, good and nice, we'll put this bottle back. We'll open up this bottle. Um, in this particular test, you do not need to uh, actually top uh, cap off the uh, the test tube and and um, and shake it. You can add both at the same time, and we'll add six of the second one. All right, so now we'll go ahead and cap this off. We'll grab the uh, test tube, cap it, and we'll go ahead and shake it, like do a little rotation, like so. And we'll do that a couple times. And then we'll place it down and we'll wait about three minutes. Now, the reason you have to wait the uh, three minutes is to let the uh, the color develop. We'll go ahead and place this right here. Um, we want to let the color develop. And while we're doing that, um, these tests are made by um, API, which is Aquarium Pharmaceuticals. Um, they're actually pretty simple and easy to use. Um, they come with the instructions on how to um, conduct the test and everything like that and how to how to actually do each individual test. Um, I will try to uh, place all of this um, with these uh, videos 
Um, these are actually remake videos because the original ones suck butt. Thank you very much. Um, and I just wanted to make some new videos with, uh, to better um, explain what goes on in these uh, in these tests. Now, um, we're the way the way we're gonna be getting these results is in either parts per million, which is ppm, or milligrams per liter, depending on how you do your testing. Um, you can jot it down. I, I actually have a chart that I created on my uh, in Excel just for my just for my tank. From day one, I have been charting everything. I chart down the temperature, the salinity. My temperature is at uh, 78 degrees right now. My salinity is at 1.026. Um, and then I, I write down the time also that I'm doing the test. It is 11 a.m. So that way, for example, when I'm testing for my uh, pH, I know what fluctuations I have during what time. Um, so that way I, I'm able to know that, okay, well, on this such and such day, I tested at 11 a.m. And on such and such day, I tested at 11 p.m. And I got this result at this time and this readout at this time. So I know my pH fluctuation which is a uh, very good thing in this hobby. You want to make sure that um, you, you um, do all ranges so you can know what's going on with your system 24 hours a day. Over time, you'll be able to eye all these things. Like once you see an algae bloom, you can be like, okay, well, you know what? I did start feeding too much and it, it could be towards my, uh, it could be my phosphates or it can be this or it could be that. Or if you see a fish dying, you can be like, okay, well, you know what? I know that... Um, um, the, uh, the way these fish are just falling off that my ammonia might be high so you might want to test for ammonia but you basically get a uh, eye for your fish tank and most people do but we'll go ahead and look at this now this chart um, I can already tell you that my my test is at um, 0.5 uh, which is going to be ppm's parts per million um, I've always been at 0.5 from like day one of my system. I mean, I've never had like a major, major spike. Uh, well, initially I started out at zero, but I raised to 0.5. And at some points I went down, but I came right back up. And I never underst fully understood why. But um, I do do weekly water changes. I do 35 gallons weekly. Um, and I've never been able to... Um, bring it down anymore i don't really um, stir up my sand bed and siphon it out um that is one item that i might try if that works out then i will let you guys know on the uh on a update video but this is how you test for uh phosphates in a saltwater reef tank and i hope that i've done a better job on this video and explaining it and posting it so please guys um do comment um, I do respond to all my comments, um, do rate, do subscribe, and um, become a friend, you know, whether you want to subscribe or not. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.